up to the Congo cashmere. Talk about like what is that? What's that man? What's that, that shit, cross on? Like that shit tastes give, crazy, give bro. Something. That shit tastes crazy. It's like seven months, eight months old. I still have a little QP in a turkey bag at the house. I just keep tasting it. It's, it's it's incredible. It's a different high. It's a different flavor. But that's part of what we want to do with these platforms. We want to be able to educate people. Like, yo, this shit don't look like this shit right here. But God damn, it's good. You got to roll it up. Yeah, you got to smoke you gotta, it. You got to take it for a test drive. Yeah, you got you to put it out there, man. You got to put new flavors in the mix. Yeah. yeah. Is it like a gas? It's like a... It's like a, it's like a like lemon gas, but like some hints of lavender in the background. Like it's, it's just, it's super fire, man. Like it's something super unique. Um, actually I'm releasing the album from sea to sale and I'm gonna drop it with the seed pack of the Congo cashmere, uh, Congo cashmere cross. Oh, that's so be dope as hell. yeah, we'll just do like 1500 physical albums that will have the seed pack and everyone that gets the seeds, will be able to hunt it. They'll be in a, on our discord with us and. We'll have a cup at the end of the end of everyone's hunt and pick the best strain and they will get an opportunity to drop that strain in all our cookie stores and get a royalty. So it's some like fully integrative, like dope ass shit. Like everyone's going to be able to like just chop it up and network. And it's kind of like a summary of what my business is like anyway. So picture being one out of 1500 people are going to buy that seed pack. It's, you know, part of an incredible album. I did the album coming right off of chemo. Um, pop those seeds, everyone share their work in the form. And then there's a cup where everyone that wants to enter can enter. And then we pick that, we pick the winner and the winner gets to do actual business with us. So, wow. you know, that Congo Damn. cashmere meant that much to me that I had to be a part of that project. Wow. Yeah. That's, That's fucking crazy, man. That's a dope ass curation of just bringing everyone together. You know what I mean? And yeah. evolving it into, into, you know, selection. Yeah. And then you get to work together. That's dope as hell, man. I like I like to keep pushing like the networking side of things. Like a lot of people may try to discredit our business model, but it's difficult to be fully integrated. That's just tough as hell. But picture managing hundreds of partners and keep everyone on the same page. That's 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 a lot of work, right? But but it's all it's really cool to see everyone doing their thing and to be able to work with all these different people. I like people, man. Like I think it's really cool to go to different states and countries and find growers that have been doing their thing for a long time and be able to work with them. So I thought from seed to sale would be a good way to kind of pull in like the average the average guy that wants to be a part of this shit. Like, yo, you know, at least for the first 1500 that, that bought an the album, they could be a part of this shit. And I think it's super cool. No, it's a that's grower's a dream. Show. Yeah. That's a grow in my opinion. That's I mean, dude, that's a grower's dream to be able to do that and chase something. And then just shows you how tapped in Bodie, bro. Yeah. Wow. I mean, it just shows how tapped in you are. You know, you work yeah. with compound, you got your thing with C junkie, mm -hmm. insane. And now you got Bodie and it it shows how tapped in you are to the culture. Yeah, nah, Bodie's a legend, man. And he doesn't get enough flowers uh, for what he's done. And he's also very low key about what, mm -hmm. what he does, and that's what made me really fuck with him. A lot of egos in this shit right now. And I have to remind people, again, we're just selling weed, bro. And we're creating weed. And the weed we're creating is becoming staples in, in the world. And, you know, at the end of the day, like, that's the biggest compliment to someone's work is for people to fuck with their shit. So, you know, Bodie's a super humble dude. And we're doing a lot of shit. And uh, once I get those shipping containers fired up next month, you're going to see a lot of crazy collaborative things going down. I'm going to bring everyone together. I really want to, I just want to work with people. That's one thing that has changed after the cancer shit. I'm glad that I took the route I took because it's it's allowed me to meet a bunch of people. But now we're going to just keep doubling down on that. Like to be able to host like seven different breeding projects at once. And then we have all these partners around the country, around the world. We can give seed packs so they can all phenol hunt too. Keep the stores exciting. Yeah, you, know, you, you, you build out 50, 70 stores. How do you keep it exciting? You just do a bunch of breeding and you make sure that your partners that are vertically integrated in different markets able to have fun too you know yeah, it's 100%. furthering cannabis the amount of phenos in production you're going to further where cannabis is yeah. you're literally going to press the fast forward button on cannabis yeah. for a while i mean yeah. that's amazing i mean dude i mean one of the things i'm thinking about is like this is a hundred year brand right like think mm. about when you pass by like you pass by like a kfc or you pass by like a mcdonald's you know that the original founders would have never wanted to be what it is right now but there's also no one really pushing that shit, right? So we went as far we went as far as to get a hologram uh, ordered where I can do my thing, right? Produce flavors right now in the next ten years, document everything, and 
time capsule shit to be released like in 2060, 2080 and say, hey guys, what up? You know, my name is Burner, founder, owner wow. of Cookies. We made this train right here. This is this times this. This flavor profile is super attracted to me for this reason. I want it to drop in 2060 when you guys drop it. This was the purpose behind this. Boom, 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 boom. That way, like your employees of whatever, whoever, own, however Cookies being ran, whether it's my kids or my kids' kids or if it, who knows what's going to happen with it, but at least they'll respect what's coming out. Like, you know what I mean? They'll be, we're map, we're road mapping out a long-term vision for what's going to happen. So there's no room for this shit just being a stale blue building in the middle of nowhere. Like that's my biggest nightmare. You know, when I first got cancer, the first thing I thought about was like my daughter and cookies. I'm like, what the fuck am I going to do for cookies? And that's why we started planning, you know, let's get the hologram. Let's map out our menus. Now, if I die from cancer, at least there's a, a game plan of what this shit needs to look like. There's purpose with this shit. You know what I mean? So I think that super clutch is like actually mapping out what your shit's going to look like. You know, Colonel Sanders would be mad if he knew there was soggy chicken in a bucket right now yeah. with no respect on that motherfucker. Man, yeah, McDonald about man that. the McDonald's brothers would never let that fucking old ass, uh, <laughs> crazy ass. You know, you see that how the McDonald's burgers uh, will sit there for like 25 years oh, and yeah, go back. Crazy, bro. Man, the original McDonald's no. brothers would never let that shit no. happen. They'd be like, nah, motherfucker, buy fresh meat. Pack that shit up, grill yeah. it right there. Like, So we just have to, we have to put it out there and make sure that... Uh, people understand what the vision is and the, that they're motivated to execute it. Yeah, wow. 100%. Jeez. Furthering cannabis culture, furthering the brand and, and so much forethought into where you're going and where the, where the weeds going. I mean, dude, to have a strain drop it in 2060. Yeah. yeah I mean, it's, it's, it's cool though, but there's no reason not to do it. The technology is there. We're doing breeding projects. We know how to preserve seeds, right? Um, we have hologram technology. Mm -hmm. It's probably it's probably gonna look like a VHS by the time that comes out, but it's still gonna be there, right? Like we have the resources to do it, so why not do it? Might as well do it. That shit. Hey, if you like that video and you want to see more, make sure you hit the like button below and subscribe to the channel. First smoke of the day clips.